Welcome to Westfair Communications 2020 Westchester County and Fairfield County C-Suite Awards. This event is presented by Westfair Communications, publisher of the Westchester County Business Journal, Fairfield County Business Journal, digital newsletters including News at Noon, the award-winning WAG Magazine, and presenting various events throughout the year. We're proud to honor at this event the Corporate Angel Networks, a nonprofit organization committed to arranging free flights for cancer patients through empty seats on aircraft. We also want to take some time to thank the many sponsors and supporters who make this event possible. KL Tech, security, innovation, and cloud-based efficiency and technology for companies throughout Westchester. Today's companies depend on virtual employees who access and distribute shared data from home. You've probably seen the challenges, but you may not realize how much more vulnerable to cyber threats you have become. If remote computing, optimizing a cloud-based strategy, or mitigating security threats are your challenges, KL Tech has been helping area clients meet those needs now and for the last 20 years. Call or click today at www.kltech.com for our free technology audit. And congratulations to today's worthy winners. Atlantic Westchester, a past Westfair family-owned business honoree and a leader in our region for HVAC services. WestMed, located in Westchester County and Fairfield County with award-winning medical specialists. Webster Bank, the Webster Way. We give of ourselves in the communities we serve. We work together to achieve outstanding results. International Seaways Incorporated, engaged in the ownership and operation of crude, product, and chemical tankers around the world. Barnum Financial, whatever your dream and goals, Barnum Financial Group will work with you to help you achieve the future you want with strategic financial planning and Barnum Financial Group, the SKG team, providing financial succession and planning and financial leadership. Burke Rehabilitation Hospital, located in White Plains, New York, the only hospital in Westchester County entirely dedicated to rehabilitation medicine. ENT and Allergy Associates, the largest ENT practice in the United States. ENT and Allergy Experts that treat all ages. Gilda Bonanno provides focused expertise on powerful presentation, communication, and leadership skills. Hi, I'm Jill DeBonano, professional speaker and executive communications expert. Whether you need a keynote speaker, an interactive workshop, or one-on-one -on -one consulting, I'd love to talk with you about how we can bring an interactive and successful program about communications and leadership to your team or organization. And if you need a virtual program, I am a certified virtual presenter, which means I know how to create content that works virtually and then deliver it in a way that's engaging and interactive. Plus, I can help every member of your team get comfortable with this new world of virtual presentations so their remote meetings and webinars are successful. Congratulations to all the honorees, and I look forward to seeing you online. Buzz Creators, leaders in PR and marketing. Val's Putnam Wines and Liquors from Greenwich for more than 60 years, providing outstanding wines, liquors, and craft beers. Trust in Lipolis Electric Incorporated as your experienced family-owned and operated electrical contractor. No job is too big or too small for us. And thank you to Blossom Flowers for the beautiful flowers for all they provide to our community. Westfair Communications is proud to announce Dr. John Murphy as its 2019 Business Person of the Year. He is CEO of Nuvance Health and helped create a powerhouse in healthcare. And we're happy to present him with this award. Hi, I'm Dr. John Murphy, President and CEO of Nuvance Health. Nuvance Health is a seven hospital system, along with a large employed physician group, a home care agency, and a number of other affiliates and we serve approximately 1.5 million people in 85 communities in Western Connecticut and through the Mid-Hudson Valley. And it's a great uh, privilege and honor to receive this award. I'd like to thank Westfair 
communications for choosing me as the inaugural recipient. I wish I could have met you in person, but the virtual event I think is much more sensible uh, given what's happening. The last six or seven months have been remarkable, certainly in healthcare, and I suspect for each and every one of you, the world has changed. Uh, one of the things that I was asked to do is to comment on my definition of success uh, during this brief uh, video session. Beginning with the professional perspective, I think that uh, much of what drew me to medicine and healthcare in general was this notion of service. I remember as a teenager uh, reading something from Albert Schweitzer, and he mentioned uh, in his writings that he didn't know the path that each of us would choose to follow, but he did believe that those who would be happiest would be those who sought and found how to serve others. And, and that's really, I think, at the heart of at least my call to medicine and healthcare. On the personal side, uh, it's equally simple. I feel that you're a success when you have something useful to do, someone to love, and something to hope for. So I hope you take a moment and think about what success means in your life, and then go pursue it. Thanks again, it's a great honor uh, to be here with you and to accept this award, and I look forward to seeing you next time in person. Hi, I'm Marcia Flug. On behalf of D.W. Bello, our publisher, and all of us at Westphere Communications, Welcome to the 2020 C-Suite of the Year Awards. 2020, a year that defies definition. But tonight's companies are so fortunate to have had these leaders at the helm for this year and for all years. I welcome all of them and I hope you are as inspired as we are tonight. We welcome all of you to our C-Suite virtual event and congratulations to the 2020 C-Suite of the Year honorees. We'll now open our program with our first honoree, Marvette Abbasi, CFO of Dental Associates of Connecticut. Hello, my name is Marvette Abbasi and I'm the Chief Financial Officer at Dental Associates of Connecticut. Dental Associates has been in operations for almost five decades and in recent years it has become a fast growing, privately held dental service group. Our excellent team has helped us more than double our locations in the last two years alone. It is an honor to be receiving this award. Thank you to those that nominated me and a very special thank you to the West Fair team and congratulations to all the other nominees. Just to give you a little perspective on my life in the financial world, for as long as I can remember, I always knew I would go in the accounting field. I started out in public accounting as an external auditor. Since then, I have worked for both small, private companies and a mid-sized publicly traded company. Each role has presented its own challenges, rewards, and opportunities to help improve and grow the companies. In association with this award, I was asked to provide one good networking tip. I believe attending local business networking events is one good tip that would greatly benefit both the individual as well as the business organization. These events provide an excellent opportunity to mingle and find other leaders of industry that understand your current market. In addition, those individuals have their own networking community, which can be a great resource to gain partnerships and grow from. Each connection built outside of your own personal network creates a super network of great resources that you can constantly tap into. Again, thank you for this award, and of course, I cannot forget to thank my family for their constant support. Hi, my name is Katrine Beck, co-founder of the firm Fullerton Beck in White Plains, New York. Thank you for attending today's virtual celebration. Many thanks to Westfair Communication for selecting me for this honor, and a big congratulations to all of today's honorees. This award is significant for me because like many of you, it took a special journey to reach this point. After almost 20 years of practicing law, in 2018, my business partner, Eileen Fullerton, and I decided to start a new law firm. Our law firm focuses on representing clients in real estate, general liability, construction, and insurance defense. We committed to starting a firm that is fair, transparent, and family-oriented. We threw out the big firm playbook and started a firm with just five attorneys in one office. In just over two years, we are now 15 attorneys in two offices, and our revenue has grown threefold. The question Wes Fair has asked me to address is, what's one business tip that has helped in your success? I would have to say, build genuine relationships and treat people with respect and dignity at all times. When we started Fullerton Beck, our clients followed us without hesitation. 
not only because we provided them with excellent lawyering, but because we had developed genuine relationships and provided client services focused on professionalism and respect. By building these meaningful relationships, we found that our clients were just as invested in our development as we were in theirs. Therefore, at Fullerton Beck, we genuinely partner with our clients by collaborating with them towards meeting their business goals. For us, we are truly client-focused and result-driven. As many of you know, it takes a village, a big professional village, to allow any of us to reach this point in our careers. To that end, I would like to thank my business partner, Eileen, who has made this adventure an exciting and meaningful one. I would also like to thank the team of talented attorneys at the firm and the staff members for their continued support and hard work, and to our clients for being committed to Fullerton Beck. I also would like to thank my husband and three amazing children for their support and understanding of Mommy's crazy schedule. And to Girls Inc. Westchester, the nonprofit I chair for giving balance and purpose an opportunity to truly impact people's lives. Thank you and congratulations to the fellow deserving honorees. Hi, my name is Ugo Kuli and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Progressive Computing in Yonkers, New York. Progressive Computing is a technology solution provider for small and medium-sized businesses. I greatly appreciate this award and congratulate all the other honorees for their accomplishment. These past few months have certainly posed unique challenges for me and my leadership team to overcome. Our guiding principle that relationships mean everything really struck up against the very real requirement to remain fiscally sound. Doing nothing and hoping for the best was simply not an option if we wanted to remain in business. As steward of our culture, I felt that our first move was to keep communications with our team flowing. I ensured that we maintained as many of the cultural connections we had in different ways. Thank goodness for good technology like Microsoft Teams and Zoom. As a result, quarterly all hands meetings turned into monthly meetings. There was just no room for our team to wonder what was going on around here. Second, together with my executive leadership team, we had to reposition our budget immediately to get lean and to cut out all non-essential expenses. Since relationships mean everything to us, we were determined to preserve every team member's position on the team. I'm proud of the innovative budget changes our leaders have been able to come up with to meet this goal. As a result, Progressive Team is now stronger than ever before. The most important leadership skills that have gotten us to this point are solid communication, teamwork, and decisiveness. I thank the Westfair team for the award. Hi. It's Bob Glazer from ENT and Allergy Associates. I'm recording this video today since we cannot get together and I hope everybody is staying safe and healthy. I just wanted to thank you all for this tremendous honor, the Westfair C-Suite Award. And I would also like to congratulate all the other honorees. For the past 23 years, I've been blessed to be working with the finest otolaryngologists allergists and audiologists, and to grow ENTA into the largest ear allergy and audiology private practice in the United States. We at ENTA strive to deliver high quality clinical care to every one of our patients. We see approximately 90,000 patients per month in a safe and caring environment. I have recruited a very talented and highly regarded management team that provides the engine to ensure that our physicians can focus on what matters most, our patients. I like to say to my team that we must deliver on our commitment. And that commitment is same day appointments, promised and delivered. Call us today, see us today. I wake up each morning and every day invigorated to come into work and make our practice better. Not everybody can say they are invigorated to come to work, but that's the message that I want every one of my team members to feel. Once again, thank you for this honor. Hi, I'm Bud Hammer, president of Atlantic Westchester, an HVAC company dedicated to making commercial buildings cleaner, smarter, and healthier. With that being said, I would like to thank Westfair Publications 
and congratulate all my fellow honorees for this wonderful C-Suite award. I really appreciate it. Uh, the team at Westfair asked me, what's the best business or personal advice I was ever offered? Well, somebody a long time ago said to me, you know what, bud? It's all about the people. That's the key to success. It's all about the people. At Atlantic Westchester, our culture here is more like a family instead of a bunch of people that are just co-workers. Uh, I feel that when people are connected, they truly put their best foot forward and they come to work together as a team. Uh, they collaborate, they're cohesive, and they support each other. With the pandemic uh, of COVID this year uh, and the pause that was caused, uh, in order to keep our employees engaged during that early time, uh, from time to time, I would record a video similar to this, uh, just a message to send out to each one of them, letting them know uh, what was going on and uh, what we were doing on our end to, to help us get through that whole thing. In addition, we had live video meetings. Uh, we broke the employees down into smaller teams and, and it was a lot of fun uh, just to kind of talk to people about stuff that um, was going on in their lives. You know, some of them were at work, some of them were at home, some of them were other places. And we just talked about uh, life in general and, and just kind of like the important stuff. Uh, we also assembled a group of employees during the, the early days to volunteer for the United Way of Westchester and Putnam to help distribute food to uh, those in need in the surrounding communities that we live in. And uh, I thought that that was also something that helped bring us uh, together. In fact, we came out of this, I believe, as a stronger, better company uh, where we know each other a little bit better. We trust each other a little bit more and uh, we have each other's back um, more so than we did before. So with that being said, again, uh, thank you so much, Westfair Publications. I raise a glass to everybody, wishing you the best in the future and uh, cheers. Thank you. Hello, my name is Adam Hammerman, and I'm the Vice President and Chief Financial Officer at New York Medical College, which is a member of the Turo College and University System. Thank you very much for this award, and congratulations to all the other honorees. I am incredibly appreciative to the entire New York Medical College team for nominating me, and to the Westfair team for the award. While I am truly passionate about pouring over the New York Medical College numbers, I do have a few other interests. As some may know, to add excitement to the accounting profession, a profession that is already jam-packed with excitement, for the past 30 years, I have also been a volunteer emergency medical technician. I have gone on medical calls in Westchester, Rockland, Riverdale, Manhattan, Queens, and Brooklyn, and I've had the honor to save lives, assist with childbirths, patch up many serious and not so serious boo-boos, and fortunately or unfortunately, was there on 9-11 when the first tower came down at the World Trade Center and was the first ambulance on the scene to take wet passengers to the hospital to get checked from Captain Sully's miracle on the Hudson landing. Additionally, being the one responsible for overseeing the finances for New York Medical College, a preeminent medical, educational, and research institution in the heart of Westchester, I truly am passionate about pouring over annual revenue, expense, and capital budgets. But on the side, I also have a bartending certificate. So once in a while, I can pour over glasses too. And I am very lucky to have such a team and to have so many partners, not only at New York Medical College, but throughout the, the entire Turo College and University system, and also throughout the great county of Westchester. Thank you for this honor. Hello, I'm Michael Moran, President and CEO of Stanford Center for the Arts, Palace Theater. We are a nonprofit performing arts center whose mission it is to entertain, educate, and enrich. We own and operate a magnificent 93-year-old facility in the heart of downtown Stanford, and I look forward to seeing patrons back there someday very soon. I'd like to start by thanking Co-Communications for nominating me and Westfair Communications for selecting me a 2020 C-Suite Award recipient. I'd also like to acknowledge the SCA Board of Directors for their continued support and the incredibly talented group of professionals on Palace Theater's staff. When I learned of this honor, I told Palace Board Chair Mike Woodland this was the first time I've ever received an award like this. 
He asked me if I knew what that meant. I took the bait and asked, what does this mean? He said, it means you're getting old. Well, I started in the box office here 20 years ago, and I've worked for five different executive and artistic directors. Trust me when I tell you there was no shortage of wisdom offered. Never give up. Failure is not an option. Each suggestion was as unique as the person that shared it. For me, the tip is still a work in progress. Believe in yourself. Not always easy when things are difficult. I feel that most people succeed because of the type of individual they are. I tend to analyze, collaborate, seek advice, consider how my decision will impact others. This approach has served me well. We all make choices along the way. Choices for our family, our careers, and other personal beliefs. Learn from the mistakes as well as the achievements and believe in yourself. Congratulations to all my fellow honorees. Thank you. Hi, my name is Muyon O Park. I'm Senior Vice President and Chief Medical Officer at Burke Rehabilitation Hospital, a member of Montevideo Health System. It is a great honor to receive this award with other awardees who accomplished so much. Congratulations to all. I am thankful to Burke Rehabilitation Hospital for nominating me for this honor. Burke Rehabilitation Hospital is an academic specialty hospital focusing on medical rehabilitation, research, and clinical education. As Chief Medical Officer, I oversee the entire clinical operation, graduate medical education programs, and clinical research. During the pandemic, as healthcare providers, we recognize that COVID-19 can affect any organs in the body, including brain, lung, heart, kidney, and more. Many survivors of COVID-19 needed medical rehabilitation due to their physical, cognitive, and psychological impairment after a prolonged stay in acute hospitals or intensive care units. Burke's multidisciplinary team have been providing medical and rehabilitative care for these patients to restore their function and return to their loved ones. This was an absolutely rewarding, at the same time, humbling experience to me. What is one habit I believe a highly successful person should have? I would say it is being resilient, which I learned from my patients who survived the devastating illnesses and recover and return to their lives. Many individuals and organizations are going through a very difficult time. And being resilient is one of the attributes we absolutely have, especially this pandemic. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Swobo Richards and I'm CEO of Service After Service. I'd like to thank Westfair Communications for the nomination and congratulate all the other nominees on their nomination. During our time with COVID, we faced challenges, but we've adapted very well. We have released and posted and published uh, a virtual reading slam where we have individuals from our community, business owners, senators, and so forth, reading their favorite children's books. And we posted those online so parents can have access to them as kids stay home. We've also been super proud of our work in tackling the veteran suicide rate. As you're all very well aware, it's 22 a day and we are tirelessly looking to engage our veterans and other members of the community in, in giving back to their local areas and taking on tasks and fulfilling their passion. This has been super exciting to be recognized, but we look forward to doing more work in the community and bringing others into the fold in supporting the troops and supporting their communities. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. From the bottom of our heart, serving our communities after serving our nation, service after service. Hello, I'm Reed Salvador, CEO of Acura Golf and Hardware Company. Firstly, I'd like to thank Wes Fair for this award and I'd like to congratulate my fellow honorees. So the last six months has been an extremely challenging environment for all of us. Arguably more challenging than, than even your typical recession or, or slowdown. As an essential business, 
this is even more challenging for a company like Accurate who makes life safety hardware because we have to remain open the entire time, trying to balance the needs of our customers with the safety of our employees. Clearly, the safety of employees is of paramount importance and is always our number one priority. And how do you make employees feel comfortable? How do you make them feel safe? How do you do the things necessary to ensure that safety in, in this very difficult changing environment? And how do you institute safety measures that each day change as you read the latest reports, as you listen to the news, as you listen to the the reports coming from the latest regulatory agencies. At the same time, how do you serve your customers and keep them accustomed to the great service that you've provided for 45 years, knowing that the environment is significantly different and the challenges are significantly greater, with the level of stress and uncertainty only adding to, to the difficulty of the situation. And on top of that, how do you do this in an efficient and cost-effective manner? And if that's not enough, Acura is a 45 year old company that's family owned. And as many of you know, family owned businesses tend to hold themselves to a higher standard with employees who've been working within the business for 25, 30, 35, 40 years in some cases. How do you make them all feel safe? How do you make them all feel comfortable? And how do you keep your customers happy? That's, that's the real challenge. And I think, you know, just like most problems, I think when you face them head on, and accept the fact that you don't know everything, that's, that's where true leadership comes about. And as the leader of Accurate, that's the approach that I took and our senior management team took. We led by example. We were visible. We took the time, the time to listen to ideas and suggestions. We were willing to change and adapt. We were willing to try new things. But most of all, we were honest with our employees, with our customers, Thank you to Westfair and congratulations to all of our fellow honorees. Best of luck to everyone. Hi, I'm Anthony Vaishore, the CEO of WestMed Medical Group. Thank you for this award and congratulations to all the other honorees recognized by Westfair this year. Although I am incredibly grateful to be recognized among this group, success to me doesn't necessarily have to do with one's own achievements. Success means giving your team and your organization the tools that they need in order to be successful. It means that every individual in every role within your organization should feel safe, supported, and cared for, especially now more than ever. As an outpatient healthcare organization that is focused on the quality of care, wellness, and prevention for more than 350,000 patients each year, Success also means making continued progress in key risk areas like hypertension and diabetes management. It means decreasing the number of patients that are admitted to the hospital each year unnecessarily. And it also means reducing waste from the entire healthcare system. Success also means educating our community and empowering patients and their families with information and choices that they need in order to create a care plan which is right for them. I would also say that success to me is something that one should strive for daily. Your grit, your passion, and your ability will define who you are. And success can be achieved when others in your care are successful. So thank you again, Westfair, for this recognition. I wish everyone out there continued success and good health. Thank you. Hello, my name is George Williams. I am the President and CEO of A.G. Williams Painting Company. First of all, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Westfair for this prestigious award. And I'd also like to take the opportunity to congratulate all the other recipients who are receiving this award, many of whom uh, I've met and am honored to be mentioned in the same sentence with them. Uh, A.G. Williams has a long storied history of facing challenges. COVID-19 has been the most challenging of times for me and for the company. We were lucky enough to enter in to the shutdown, which was started for us on March 22nd, with a healthy reserve and coming off of two of the best months we've ever had 
in January and February, which are historically our slowest times of the year. We're able to pay our management team from our reserves for the whole shutdown. We took advantage of the payroll protection plan funds and kept our people as much as we could off of unemployment. We would have a daily management team meeting via Zoom at 9 a.m. every morning. And sometimes it was about business, sometimes it was just about our feelings and just staying in contact and seeing each other, and just, just expressing ourselves and getting it out there. We're very fortunate in that we have a, a, a great culture at Adrian Williams. We have a great family atmosphere uh, and, and the team is stuck together. Um, we are booked through the end of October with 70 employees in the field and hoping that the virus doesn't come back so we can have a strong November, December and January. In any event, uh, we are ready and more able to meet the new norm than ever before. And again, I want to thank Westfair and all the other recipients for this award and congratulations to all. Thank you so much. Good evening. My name is Russell Yankwit, founder and managing partner of the 16-person litigation law firm, Yankwit LP. Thank you to my colleagues and Westfair Communications for nominating and selecting me for this prestigious award. And congratulations to the other C-suite award honorees with whom I virtually share this dais. I applaud you all for your leadership and achievements. While I was honored to receive this award months ago when the honorees were first announced, the events of the past six months have made me appreciate it even more. It is during trying times like this that we need leaders who can rise to extreme challenges and literally lead the way to a better future. I am proud that during the pandemic, I remain committed to keeping my amazing team together. We have not laid off or furloughed any lawyers and have continued serving our clients and improving operational practices that will make Yankwit LLP even better and stronger when we emerge from this pandemic. Yankwit LP has amassed a team of the brightest, most talented attorneys with pedigrees that rival partners at top New York City law firms. I will do everything in my power to not let this pandemic destroy what my team and I have worked tirelessly to create. We will weather this storm together. I want to be known for my capability and integrity as a lawyer. It is not only important to deliver optimal results for our clients, but to do so with honesty and transparency and always at the lowest possible cost. I also want to be known as a fair and supportive team leader, one who mentors and nurtures, and one who's approachable. Lastly, I want to be known for my philanthropy. Over the years, I have taken active roles in the legal community and the greater Westchester community, creating and supporting numerous organizations that benefit others. During the next decade, I want to do even more for the people in need than Westchester County. Most importantly, on a personal note, I want to be known as a loving and supportive husband, father, son, brother, and uncle. If the past informs the future, I am hopeful that this will be my legacy. Thank you again to Westfield Communications and congratulations to my fellow honorees. It's such a pleasure to be included and honored at this esteemed Westfair Communications Award event. I want to congratulate all of the other honorees. I'm Lois Sabraki. I'm CEO and President of International Seaways. We're traded as INSW on the New York Stock Exchange. We have 40 international tankers, and these oil tankers deliver oil and energy all over the world. We have an enterprise value of over a billion dollars. Right now in our business, we're busy navigating the impacts from the coronavirus. Our key is to keep everyone at sea and ashore safe. I want to thank Gilda Bonanno for nominating me for this award. But more than that, for playing a great role as our company grows and emerges our profile as she guides us with our public facing presence. In April of this year, Almost half of the world, around 4 billion people, were sheltering in place. And so this took the world oil demand from 100 million barrels a day down to 75. And all of this really caused huge ripples in all of the businesses and energy sectors around the world. 
So for us, our tankers were busy storing crude products rather than transporting them because there was no demand. So this really caused a lot of upheaval, upheaval throughout the system. Problem solving is really in the forefront of what we do every day. We, we are in a business where we have to expect the unexpected. We, we have a highly cyclical business and we entered 2020 thinking that uh, the world economies would be great and so would our business and then coronavirus visited us. So we're constantly pivoting and problem solving. And I really think um, having a very uh, close relationship and a lot of transparency with the management team has helped us navigate. My over 300 days at sea, I was able to visit over 20 countries. And once you've seen the world like this, it's really something you can never go back from and you tend to get the sea in your blood. I, I graduated with a third mate license and I went to work on a chemical tanker navigating and handling cargo, uh, loading gasoline and um, MTB at that time out of the U.S. Gulf and carrying it to the West Coast. So uh, the, the seafaring is the business. So you know, once you get into shipping, you, you never leave. We also would like to thank the following honorees. Paul Blanco, the founder and CEO of Barnum Financial Group, an award-winning provider of comprehensive personalized planning, investment and protection solutions, and financial literacy programs to clients across the U.S. He began his career at MetLife as a financial services representative in 1991. In just two years, he moved into management, taking over a seven-person MetLife office in Trumbull, Connecticut. In recognition of his vision and leadership, Blanco became the youngest inductee 